this is Ronin. Hello and welcome back to the channel and to this particular mini series where I play Door Kickers 2 while employing real life esque CQB tactics. I say real life esque because I've never been in a real firefight, which I count as a win, but it is uh, quite useful uh, in these games and this particular game, which I'm enjoying immensely. Um, I, and uh, hopefully, you are enjoying watching it. So, what do we have here? Let's have a look. Uh, this map is called uh, Vibids Are Us. What? Vibids Are Us. So, uh, and Vibids again are vehicle borne uh, improvised explosive devices. And we have a ton of them here. There's one here, there's one here, here, and here. Well, this is not yet, but I'm sure it will be. Oh, hello, bug. So, uh, they, you can see they're armored in the front, uh, meaning that they're there to preserve uh, lives of uh, operators. And they're basically bombs on wheels, uh, which is nasty because all you have to do, I guess, is to point them in the right direction uh, and uh, kind of um, uh, into a target that you want to explode and just ram them into it and then it's a pretty nasty piece of equipment. It's a horrible thing. Uh, and we are here to stop it in this particular situation. So let's look at our Final Fantasy squad. We have Ronan, obviously. We have Sid, because he needs to be in every single mission. We have Sephiros uh, uh, with a, a squad machine gun. We have Tifa now, who is a marksman. And I'm going to explain why I brought her in today. Uh, we have Safer. Uh, who uh, again grenadier uh, we have Renoa, we have Squall and we have Titus we know all of those people the reason why I brought Tifa will come in the planning phase so let's go to the planning phase so uh, we have a, a, uh, a map kind of which is divided into two different areas in my mind we have building one and building two first we're gonna go and clear building one because um, it's closer to us and we have to clear it before mo even thinking of moving somewhere anywhere else we also have uh, this little area here which is a, um, a nightmare because it um, can act as a alley uh, to help feeding reinforcements to where we are so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to contain it as much as possible. So I'm going to place Tifa here, uh, containing this area. And actually being a little bit more mobile than usual, I just I don't want to, her to just stand there. Because uh, the angles in this uh, particular map are pretty nasty because of this window, which creates like a, um, a big issue for us here. So um, anyone who is in this area will be able to shoot through us. So making any kind of movements in here is a problem. So my plan is to uh, post uh, Tifa here and another support unit who is gonna be looking south, uh, covering this window, until we uh, have gained entrance uh, to this particular building. Uh, that is kind of my idea. To gain entrance to this building, I'm going to place a wall charge here and hopefully open it up. I see that there is a bunch of uh, things here. Hopefully they're going to get blown up. If not, it will still allow us to see uh, a lot of the interior. Uh, so we won't be going in blind into this structure. Uh, once we've made our entrance, I'm thinking through the window, unfortunately, uh, we can work our way through uh, this area. I'm also very aware that there's, there are windows here, meaning that opening this door, this flimsy door, uh, could be an issue. Once this is cleared, uh, we're gonna uh, move this, this line, uh, uh, move this line uh, further, but also effectively creating an L shape because I'm going to approach from the south. Uh, because we'll have people who may be stationed around here covering this, ang this uh, angle and then anyone who's entering from the south will be covering this. We are basically... Uh, well, hello, bug again. Yeah, this L shape will allow us to have um, archers of fire that are covering the whole of the structure. That is my plan. We'll see how it goes. Let's get cracking. So we're gonna... They were all on silent because they have silencers, suppressors actually. Um, 
because I like the way they sound. And we're LARPing, so who cares? It's not real life at this point. Um, so, uh, Sephiroth, was first we're gonna collapse the... Um, the stack here. Ah, Tifa, no, you're not going. You're going north. I'm gonna switch places, kind of cheat this. Let's go. And my friend, you're coming here. You're creating a bit of a bang. And while this is happening, Ronin, you are going to pie off as much of this area as possible. And you, my friend, are coming here. And Tifa, you are going here. Let's see. Okay, so far so good. We keep arching. And waiting for the situation to develop. Uh, let's give it another four seconds because we're not ready. Oh, while we're there, we're gonna collapse. We're gonna go this way a little bit closer. Charge in position. Okay, you're going this way. Holding. We're gonna create a little bit of a cross coverage here. Holding. Okay, so what we have is um, we have three insurgents down, but they know that we're here because they shouted about it. And um, what I'm gonna do, because uh, I'm gonna change my plan a little bit. Ronin is okay containing this area, so we're gonna um, blow it up and see what it presents to us. So let's pie it off. No, actually, let's go Tifa, you're pieing it off, you're going back into the stack. The reason why I did this is because he is a grenadier and uh, he is a heavier weapon so he's not as mobile as far as I'm concerned so we're gonna have an assaulter going through this room. <coughs> so yeah, there you go. Sorry for coughing there. Um, so the, it's a good thing that I had uh, Reno do this uh, because he probably would have been uh, in deep trouble if this gonna happen okay this room is clear now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post her on kind of not containment in a sense but we're cover gonna cover this door the reason is is because if somebody goes through here or somebody goes through here we are covered because we are moving our marksman team into position at this point and we have Sid he's gonna go here and look south All right. So what do what do you have? You have door breaches. So I'm thinking because the drapes are still on, the, nobody can see us, and if somebody comes this way, we are kind of covered. I'm gonna blow through this window. Placing charge. I'm gonna go back. Let it breathe. Okay. All right. So there's very little to do but to go internal through the window. The work, it's not a good choice, but and actually you're gonna go. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Not good. Sorry, that's panic. Let's just cover this door. And then we have Ronin going in here. Okay. So now we have an insurgent most likely shooting at us from this position. Hmm. So, okay. What I'm going to do is... That's a tricky situation. Uh, this door I'm not worried about, so I guess what I have to do here is open this door while having a flashbang in. Let's see if you can actually reach that. We can. Okay. 
so we're gonna move back. You're throwing a flashbang. My friend, I'm gonna open the door. Good, okay. It was, um, yeah, the reason why I did this is because I kind of figured he was close to the door because of the angles of fire he was um, providing. Not providing, the angles of fire that he was, uh, uh, we could see the uh, bullet hits. So you are kind of plating it here and I'm gonna bring Ron in as well. Cause the reason why I'm plating him is because we don't really have anywhere to stack here, unfortunately. And why we have here, we're gonna bring the rest of, we are gonna bring the additional assaulters through here to go south. Yeah, window is seriously the worst decision, but um, right now, angle-wise, I think we're pretty safe. We don't need to have you uh, being here because we're already okay. I'm gonna bring you here, and okay. So uh, now we are ready to assault this structure. Um, the rule is, is really, is to, uh, if the door is closed, we're not gonna <laughs> go out of our way to open it. We're gonna go through the open door and clear whatever is happening here first. So I'm gonna, we have contained kind of thing, so I'm gonna bring three assaulters into this uh, nightmare. I'm gonna throw a banger. No, you're not throwing the banger, you are. here to this you are going to buy we're just gonna flood it Flash out. and we are going to go here with it's a corner fed room but it's a nasty kind of geometry but anyway so let's just cover this I'm not worried about my back and then Ronin you're gonna be two man we are going this way while well, you can be here and here and then three man you are going covering this way okay let's go okay so we've cleared this uh, room fairly efficiently um, and uh, killed three insurgents but we have fire coming from. Let let it breathe for a while. Where is the fire coming from? I'm assuming it's from somewhere here actually, because it keeps hitting here and then here. We're okay. We have our team of containment. So this is a bad place to be. I'm not worried about people going through here. So we're going to go closer to the door while maintaining security. You're going first. No, no, you're not going this way. You're going this way. While this is happening, tactical reload. Okay, that's why we're there. So now I'm not worried about this safer. You gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna bring safer in because I have a plan. And while this is happening, let's go, Ronan. You're coming here, but you're definitely moving this way. Okay. So cross cover. Oh. This worked really well. We have cross coverage here. 
this sofa, just move the sofa. But apparently you can't move things in this game. So um, we need to make sure that... Oh, okay, I have a plan. Right, uh, one safer is here. I'm gonna wait for him to appear. He is gonna gently open this door. And we have here, I think this room is completely empty, but let us be sure, sure about this. We're gonna throw a banger here. Flash out! See if we're moving in and just covering this angle and then here. All right, I can't see anything here. I'm not moving. Okay, so in this room, the only things that are uh, dangerous to us is this and this. So let us move in. I'm gonna bring another assaulter this way. Judas, you're going this way. So you are throwing a flashbang here. And we're flowing in. This is clear. Now, uh, the building one is clear so far, so good. It was a little bit of a, a tricky situation, but we are okay here. So now my next plan is, Safer becomes quite important because he is a grenadier. You have slap charges left, yes you do. So let's slap. Placing charge gonna move away from the fatal funnel because uh, once it's blown up I'm hoping with safer let's go to here let's go here Right, safer is gonna be it's a dangerous mission it's a risky one but hey we live for it okay we're pying off the reason is is I want to throw a under barrel grenade there I can't see anything behind this truck. Okay. Now, the plan is changing because right now here, no, the plan is not changing. No, nope, it's not changing. I was thinking of uh, going through this wall, but it creates a lot of other issues for us. So my plan still stays the same. We are observing from this window and then, um, uh, going internal from this door. Alright, so for that, let's bring the stack. Safer is providing coverage. Let's bring it in. It's quite dangerous, but we are quite covered here, I think. Let's buy this off. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna bring Safer here. And we're gonna throw another nasty piece. Nope! Don't blow yourself up. So anyone who is behind this is going to be gone. Okay, and there was someone there. So now the only place that we are not, we don't know what's happening is this little sliver here. I'm not moving. No, actually, I am. So 
this we have. Okay, so the sliver is even smaller. Uh, going out here is a little dangerous, so I'm gonna have to keep someone. He is gonna, uh, Safer is gonna keep cover while I'm peeking through this. It's quite dangerous. Okay, it's clear. So let's take cover behind this truck. All right, this door is open. So um, we are now moving into creating my favorite L shape. Uh, so let's move our troopers here and here. Actually, you're going this way. Okay, now we see more of this room. And my idea is to stack here because I don't think we can expect any angling from here, although we can, but it's draped now, so it's not an issue. However, let's go real quick. gonna buy it off as much as common balls. Okay, so that was a bit nasty uh, and messy. He took a hit but plate caught it. Uh, the plate caught it so we got two insurgents out. That's why you don't just rush into buildings. Work as much as possible outside of the threshold and then then and only then commit your troops to it. No, oh, that was easy. Okay, we may have been a little more careful, but these guys are not uh, as bright as uh, some of them can be. So let's have a look. Let's go. So yeah, straight away, people, um, people are just running towards our bullets. I'm not sure how good the decision of blowing up this wall was, but it worked. It gave us access, uh, well, at least knowledge of what's happening. So, yep, so this room is clear, and now we can move in with our containment team. Placing charge. All right. So now we have an entry, which is a nasty entry to be honest. The whole mission was a little bit too tricky. So that's why I panicked a little bit. So we got uh, Sid covering this door just in case. And then uh, we moved. That was a good guess. Um, I kind of gambled, but it was a educated guess, if you may, because of the um, the hits of bullets. So yep, now we covered all the exits. It was a time to move in with the rest of my team. Flash out. Two flashes because it's a very, very open room. And I didn't cover all of it, but it was alright. All of the structures, I mean, why can't we just move them? Not structures, all of those little uh, tables and things, but hey. He's taking a risk here, but it 
work. So we now needed to find out where the uh, fire was coming from. So the reason why I'm plating him here is because I wanted him to uh, be uh, to throw an explosive inside, uh, like there, uh, and see what it can be done. And also additionally cover uh, these guys, this stacks approach, Sid, Tidus, Titus, and Ronin. Pying it off. So I don't know what's happening there, so that's where we have the grand view. So bringing the rest of the uh, Sephiros to keep covering, cont uh, containing this area. These guys can just relax at this point. It's a very important job, but it's a relaxing job at times. So placing uh, the operator here was a good idea, considering what happened later. The reason why uh, Sid is looking back is because of this angle here, from the drapes. Okay, no, I think that was it. So yeah, we had two, uh, we had Titus and uh, Ronan, we basically, they cleared the room for the most of it. It's 18 hostiles, but it felt like more, to be honest. We lost no units, um, no operators, no hostages, civilian casualties. Overall, a win. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please share, like, and subscribe. And uh, I will be posting more of those uh, these videos. But if you'd like to comment on something, if you like to... Um, uh, suggest something else or maybe a tactic that I haven't used uh, or used too much that doesn't actually work uh, which is uh, thank you for Avery Arabosa who told me that a high low doesn't work so uh, I'm not using that ever again in this game thank you so much for watching uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one over and out